In this tutorial, we'll cover how to build a project in Xcode and use Interface Builder to create a label, a button, and connect them using an action. So let's get started. First, let's open Xcode. And then when Xcode opens, click Create New Project. And make sure it's an iOS and new app. So basically, um, we first have to create a product name. So this is the name of our project. And I'll name this uh, Interface Builder. And the organization identifier will go with these into more detail. But um, the organization identifier is essentially something that comes before your uh, product name. And both of those combined is your bundle identifier, which is a unique name assigned to your project. And the interface, make sure it's in storyboard and language switch. So firstly, go over to the main, go over to the main in the left, and then we'll be see our and we'll see our iPhone, and I will choose iPhone 13 Pro, and now we can start. So to add any elements to the screen, we need to click on the plus icon over here, and then first let's add a label. So to add a label, you'll have to drag it over here. So a label essentially is like text, and you can double click on it to change. So you can say. This is my first app. Now you can easily drag it around and increase the width of it, width and height. Also, you can change the color and font using this panel on the left. And let me increase the width. And you can also change the color, background color of the screen. So I'll change it to system orange color. And I'll, inc I'll also increase the height. Okay, so this is using the label and changing the background color of your view. And now we can add a button. So this button, you can also change the text by clicking on it. So let's say press. Let me also increase the width. And I'm going to center it. And now um, for this button, we can also change the color and add a change the color of the text. For now, I'll keep it default. And now to be able to link this um, using code, we would have to go over here and then click Assistant. So Assistant allows us to easily use the storyboard and code it. So over here, click on, um, let me move this, and let me move this bit to the right. So we can close this by clicking here. And then, so to link your label, you'd have to click Control, and then click on it and then drag it over here. So if you put it over here outside the class of view controller, it won't do anything, but if it's right underneath the class, it'll add a um, outlet. An outlet is essentially a way to connect the elements in your view. I'll name, I'll name this um, label, label message. And now the outlet is created. And now we can also Use our button and create action. So we'll use it. We'll, so we'll do the same way by clicking Control and dragging it outside. This time, um, still in the UI View Controller class, but underneath the did view did load function. And we'll name this button pressed. Now we can edit um, inside this function to be able to change the text of this label. So we'll take the name of the label, which is LBL and the message. And then we can use dot text equals to a string. So we'll name it um, button pressed. And now let's run our code and see what happens. And uh, just again, so I'm in iPhone 13, and you can change it by clicking here. And the simulator opened. It takes some time to load, and you can also add a splash screen, so launch screen. But that's, that'll be for a future video. Now let's test it by pressing on uh, the button, and see when we press the button, it changes the text to button pressed. That's that's it for this video, and we'll go into more. We'll go into in depth in future videos.